Hi, Facebook family. It's me, Lakia. <laughs> All right, so I'm coming to you guys from my kitchen. It ain't that tidy right now because I ain't cleaned up that well. But anyway, I'm going to come and I'm going to show you guys how to make the mean green juice because I got requests on the mean green juice. So, what you're going to do, what you're going to need for the mean green juice. Oh, I'm doing something. Give me a minute. All right, give me a second. What you, the ingredients you're going to need for the mean green juice is you're going to need six leaves of kale. This is kale. You're going to need six of these. All right. You're going to need four stalks of celery. Four stalks. You're going to need one whole cucumber. And if it's not an organic cucumber, peel it, take the skin off of it because the skin will have wax on it. And you're going to need two Granny Smith apples. But you can use any kind of apples you want. If you like the sweeter ones, you can get the sweet ones. Um, actually, prefer the Granny Smith. And that's what the, the recipe calls for. But again, you can use any, any apple you want. And you're going to use one lemon or lime. I like limes because the limes are just cheaper. And they actually taste really good, so I like limes. So um, I'm peeling the lime now. I should have did this before the video. But um, you got to take, for my particular juicer, you have to take the rind off of the lime. And some people will leave a little bit of the rind on there, but I just take it all off. All right. So here's my Jack LaLanne juicer. I'll lift it up so you guys can see. This is my Jack LaLanne juicer. I just got it. I love it. I love my baby. And let me get my little cup. This is the cup that comes with the juicer that's going to catch the juice. All right. So I'm going to turn on the juicer. It's very quiet. It's not like most of you juices are really loud. I find this to be quite quiet. It's quiet. All right, this is the plunger to push the veggies in. Oh, you know what? Let me just turn it off for a second because I didn't peel my cucumber. So, guys, I'm officially. Am I a week away? Yeah, practically. It's next Thursday. I'll be in there, honey. Um, I'm going to come back with another video, too, because I told my husband last night that didn't go well. I didn't expect it to. Um, but anyway, that's a whole nother story, Joe. All right. I didn't even peel my apples. I'm so behind. I should have did all this before I got on the video. So, you know, it's raining today in New York. The kids go back to school tomorrow, and I'm so damn excited. You just don't know. I have a couple of little last minute running around to do. I have to go get my son a book bag and some sneakers. He's going to high school. This is his first year of high school. He's nervous and excited at the same time. But, you know, we've all been there, right? First day of high school. And uh, my baby's going to kindergarten, my little star. She's going to kindergarten this year. And my big girl, she's going to fourth grade. And she is so excited for her bossy self. That's so late. So the main green juice, guys, it's really very tasty. I find it to be quite palatable. And you know, if you're if you're kind of a, like a um if you're an eater that you don't like certain foods, you might not like the mean green juice. But what I do is, to make it taste a bit sweeter, I put some blue agave nectar in it. And this is really good. It's actually, if you, if you read it, it's a, it's a low glycemic sweetener. So this won't spike your blood sugar. You can use some of this. It's, it's, it's um, 60 calories per tablespoon. But you can add that as a sweetener 
And the reason why I'm using that as a sweetener is because my true my nutritionist, um, Karen, she is awesome. She is kind of like a natural person. She doesn't like anything artificial. And so if you're under her, and I know one of my other subscribers, that's her nutritionist too. We share the same nutritionist and she can vouch that she doesn't like for us to use artificial anything, artificial sweeteners, nothing, fats. So when you are under her and she is your nutritionist, you're going to find yourself eating a lot of whole foods, natural foods. She doesn't do sweeteners. Even she doesn't want us to do sugar-free jello. She doesn't want us to do anything sugar-free at all. Um, so I had to find another alternative to to you know my sweetener and um, I found about I found out about agave nectar and it tastes really good sweet I'm um, also with the apples guys pour them you don't have to if you don't want to but if you didn't know apple seeds actually have traces of cyanide in them so you should take them out Oh, terrible at pouring this apple this morning. How much time am I using? I'm boring you guys, right? I'm trying to do this as fast as I can. This is the last one. Yes, Bookie? I'm making my green juice, Mama. The other one that I make every day. Yes, you can have it. Go ahead. All right, so I'm just going to rinse off these apples and the cucumbers really quickly. And then we're going to get the juice. Off. normally I would put some cilantro in it too you don't have to that's optional also I'm going to be putting some romaine lettuce in there too this is optional you don't have to put romaine lettuce I just do it because they're actually good for you and the kale actually gives you a lot of juice you'd be very surprised you get a lot of juice out of the kale Let 
up. All right. That is it. I put everything in there. So again, just to recap, I'm just going to let the final juices run out. You're going to use six leaves of kale, four stalks of celery, two apples of any type. Um, you're going to use one whole cucumber and of course if, if it's not an organic cucumber peel the skin off of it same same with the apple peel the skin if it's not organic and core it um, and then you're going to use one lime and that's it and as an option you can also put a little parsley and cilantro in it so six leaves of kale four stalks of celery two apples one lime I feel like I'm missing something. One cucumber. One cucumber. I'll put the ingredients in the box below. This is what the final product looked like. And it gives you a whole bunch of juice. You'd be surprised. Like this is this is 24 ounces of juice. And it always gives me exactly 24 ounces every time I do it. And like I said, to make it sweet, I put some organic blue agave nectar in it to make it sweet and and that is it y'all so i'm gonna enjoy my juice thanks for watching i'm sorry it took so long maybe if i had cut up all the ingredients before it wouldn't have took up so much of your time but i'm doing this on my laptop because it always takes me so long to load things when i do it on my camera so anyway god bless you guys have fun and i go and meet with my surgeon today i'm so excited i'm almost there guys talk to you soon bye